Hey guys, it's Kevin here. It's been, oh, I don't know, more than a week or so that, since I've been really filming anything in the garage, but it's, uh, I'm kind of all over the place right now. I'm back on working on the 52 Ford F100 box sides here. Uh, as you can see here, got another toy that just came in here the other day. Brother Ryan just uh, brought this to my garage the other day, so we pushed that in the shop here. That's his project, but nonetheless, so uh, people have been asking how I uh, strip metal on that. I use these discs here with the disc grinder. Here, I'll show you a new one. Hold on one sec. They work slick. They don't heat up the metal, and I'll show you in a second how quick they work. But uh, yeah, you see here, just this is literally just maybe like not even here. This is around not even two minutes of work right here what I did. But yeah, other than that, I uh, saw so I uh, moved the model lane to the center of the garage. I've got uh, Derek was nice enough to give me. A Model A rad here, and if you're gonna come around here, it's been uh, it's been relocated the spout to this side here for small block Chevy, so that's good. I got my 32 deuce grill on here, and uh, yeah, I haven't really, like I said, worked on this much recently right now, but I've got coils in it right now. Everything's still in these guts in it. Now I got to work on the transmission mount, but. Yeah, it's coming along. I got a nice fire going in the in the stove right now, so it's nice and warm in here. I just wear overalls just to be a little cleaner, but you know. So here I'll show you what how easy it is. So again, not to sound like a tree hugging hippie, but I like to use a respirator. I won't have on, on the video here on YouTube, but when I have this, I usually have music blaring, and today is Iron Maiden. Do, 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 do. Oh, here we go. So there you go. This is not even a couple minutes. It doesn't warp it, it doesn't heat it, as long as you work fast. It uh, does an awesome job. I highly recommend these. You know, you can buy them anywhere on your local body shop or on the internet, right? So that's my little tech tip for the day. I'm gonna keep on plugging at this and I'll show you later, okay? So thanks a lot, guys. Hey guys, it's uh, almost supper time and this is going to be it for me. I'm going to have supper soon and then have a shower then we're going to go grocery shopping this evening. So this is the progress that I've done. Um, this side's all done. I still have to do like the, the corners and everything, right? But uh, again, that went pretty quick. That was, I don't know, half of a CD of... Iron Maiden, then, then I switched to Metallica, Justice for All. So now, uh, this is where I'm going to end the day. I just got this, uh, around one third of it done this side so far, so I'm happy with it. I went through on this box side so far today, around one and a half of these discs. Like, they work pretty good, so but again, this stuff is pretty rough and rusty but you know it works good you can see on the ground though what kind of mess it makes right so 
So again, that's why I wear a respirator and gloves and all that good stuff, right? So, so I forgot to mention too, when we're showing the tractor, I dragged over here. This is a one and a half, two horse Waterloo. Well, actually it's a contract engine. It's got a tag on it, T Edens, since we're up here in Canada. It's on a Rock Island cart. I've got a nice original style Waterloo gas tank that's going to get plumbed on here. I've had this engine running, I think it was last, last winter, Derek and I got it going. It just needs a little, little tankering to go with, but it's, it's not my rarest engine. It's not even close to being rare, but it's in my top five engines that I have. That's right, top five. Just because it's not rare doesn't mean it's, you know, but I like it. I bought it uh, in an auction row in Pearson, Manitoba, I want to say around 10 years ago. I uh, remember that auction I probably bought. We took an 18 foot car trailer and I think I filled up at least half of the trailer full of engines. That's why I like to buy them. I like to buy a bulk, so. But uh, yeah, so. I'm just rambling off here, but nonetheless, this is the end of my day here. Like I said, it's supper and grocery time. Like I said, it's a nice warm garage today. Got the wood stove going. I got Casey on the camera. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. Again, stay safe, work safe. Have a good night, guys. Hey guys, it's Kevin. It's uh. Sunday morning, I'm here to get some parts off my parts truck. I uh, don't feel too bad cutting up this truck because this thing is rough and it's also given, given me a lot of good parts for my truck. So uh, today, if you want to come here, I uh, need to get some dash pieces today. So I'm kind of lazy today, so I'm just literally going to cut everything out. Like I said, this cab is shot. It's, uh, that's why I don't feel too bad cutting it up. We took all the good, a lot of the good parts off it, but this thing's literally toast. So I'm gonna start cutting some parts off. I forgot to break my bring my face shield today, so oh well. I'll see you guys in a bit. Hey guys, a couple minutes of uh, destroying this old Ford truck for getting some good parts is well worth it. As you can see, uh, I you know, neatly unbolted the dashboard using the old disc grinder. So I got the parts that I need it. And then, uh, yeah, like I said, it's uh, kind of a shame cutting it up, but this cab is shot in every way. It's Rested all right through the header panel, floors, cab, corners, it's everything. So it's just a good parts truck. But uh, yeah, here's the parts that uh, Pam and I got off the truck here. I got all the dash here in the glove box and one door access panel. So it was worth it. It's a lot of good, a lot of parts I need to for my truck. So I don't feel too bad cutting it up. So. If you don't like it, piss on it. See you soon. Okay guys, it's Kevin. It's been oh, more than a couple days since I've worked in the garage, but uh, tonight I'm just cleaning up some more of my 52 Ford F100 stuff. So tonight I'm just cleaning the, uh, the rad cradle here. Um, I'm just using a wire wheel here on a disc grinder. Nothing special. 
The key is with these little, wear a face mask. So these little little needles will fly off occasionally, right? So it sucks to get hit with them. So I'm gonna start cleaning up here. I just started cleaning here. It cleans it up to the bare metal pretty good. This was just literally a couple couple seconds here. So, and this truck here, I'm not painting over rust. I know some people do it. It's it's not for me. And certain trucks like this is going to be a, a nice truck when it's all said and done. If, if I'm building a rat rod or something, it'd, you know, it'd be okay. But not on this truck. So I'll see you soon. See guys, it uh, cleans up pretty good. That was just a short time right here. I have smaller discs to get in the corner, but nonetheless. Okay guys, I'm done for the night. Um, I'm pretty happy how it turned out. You know, I could have easily sent it to the, the sandblaster, but everything's on uh, code red here in Manitoba, Canada. So I'm sure it's not an essential, essential service. But nonetheless, you know, short period of time, I got it pretty clean. It's not 100% perfect, but it's pretty darn good. But uh, as you can see, uh, I've been keeping busy these days. The box sides are done. The hood's psh, almost done. Now I gotta Tackle the running boards and some other little bracketry in that, but uh, yeah. Only downfall is that everything gets so stinking dusty here. Like, look at the, the little Model A here, the tractor, and so on and so forth. But again, I'm just rambling on here, so uh, that's another night. So, you guys have a good one. Be safe. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Okay guys, it's the uh, the end of the night for me and also the ending of this episode. Sorry guys, there's nothing really exciting on this one, but as a job that had to get done, I just wanted to show you guys that it is, you know, fairly easy and not too bad for time for, for cleaning all the sheet metal. Like I said, it's, uh, it's a lot of stuff here. But yeah, nonetheless, I'm happy how it turned out. Uh, this episode was a little bit, a little bit all over the place. It was from cleaning metal to cutting apart a parts truck with the disc grinder so again I don't feel too bad about it you know the truck is rotten as all can be so uh thanks again everyone have a good night and like share subscribe leave a comment we've been getting a lot of good ones some you know not so happy ones but whatever can't please everyone so uh, thanks again and thanks Casey for being the camera guy in this last little one. See you next time. Bye.